Why is this so hard? It wasn't always like this. This used to be fun. And why am I so itchy? As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a storyteller. In whatever form that takes. My first camera? I spent most of my childhood looking through it, or being in front of it. I always loved movies. That's what I wanted to do. But were those videos really art, or just playtime? And is what I'm doing now art or playtime? Are those things exclusive? Is this worth anything? I still don't know. I'm working it out. Growing up with few friends, and frankly, lots of action figures, really sparked my imagination. As a single person, I could only do so much. Thus began my phase of stop-motion obsession. I could get away with so much more, and tell new kinds of stories. Stories that would touch you deeply? Mm, not so much. Stories that would entertain and make you laugh? Oh, you betcha. For a couple summers, this was my thing. But in life, we all grow up. So, it eventually ended. A few years later, and I discovered something about myself. I had a strange fascination with fear. I binge-watched and became obsessed with horror movies. 80s and 90s slashers really did something for me. I knew they were crap, but they were fun. I was broadening my horizons into new things, and it wouldn't be the last time. High school started and things were changing. I was a loser, a recluse who sat alone. Working on so many projects by myself didn't help, so I made a decision. I was to become a musician. A cool one who plays guitar. Because chicks dig guitar. However, many nights of jam sessions in my closet produced the same result. That I wasn't very good. More than anything, I just wanted to be like my dad. Because he was a musician. And I heard the stories. That's how he met my mom. Through his music. I wanted something like that. To be loved for my creations to present and be applauded. But music and I just didn't get along. And I was feeling the itch. I had to go back to stories, to videos. Once my dad made it clear that he loved my stories, I realized that I didn't have to become my dad to honor him. So I gave up guitar. After that, high school wasn't getting any easier. I took media production classes, tried making videos with friends at home, but I still wasn't satisfied. I needed something else. Then one day, I came across a game that filled a void for so many years. It was a little game called The Movies. It was a movie studio tycoon simulator with a feature that let me actually make virtual movies. Computer animated movies with no constraints of budget or actors or locations. I could bring stories to virtual life with a freedom I hadn't felt since my stop-motion days. More important than the game itself was the fact that it was my gateway into another world. The world of 3D animation. I needed this in my life. This was my life. The only thing that brought me any joy. Childhood stories that lived in my mind for years could finally be realized. I was so excited that I actually created a studio logo for my creations. I was sharing my ideas with people, but eventually I grew insecure. I spent so long working on these that I looked back and thought, wow, all that time for this? I grew embarrassed of my work and too afraid to share. So like everything else, I gave up. 
I have always had a constant love-hate relationship with my creations and myself. But I think the fact that I care means something. I don't want to be fake and loved. I would rather be all alone and making stories because that's what keeps itching me. But that's also what scares me. If that passion dies, then what do I have? For now though, the journey has been satisfying. The best part is, it's not over yet. I don't know the destination, but I'm enjoying the ride. <laughs>